Hey guys, got this mail today. What is it? Hmm. Alcon Plastics, India. Ah, I remember. They sent me this for reviewing it in my YouTube channel. It's a component storage unit. And I guess the model is ACO60. Anyways, let's unbox it. It's packed nicely and it got no damages. And yes, it is the ACO60. It's a component organizer with 60 drawers. Hence the name ACO60. Speaking about the company, Alcon Plastics makes all sorts of component organizing products. Example, as you can see the screen. They make a variety of component organizers and the other related products. You can feel free to visit their website and check their products out. Speaking about the build quality, it's actually well built. I mean, it weighs a ton. And the drawers are also made up of good type of plastic. It has a little bit of flex though, but without that, you might not be able to operate the drawers properly. So yeah, it's a well built product. And I think it will last your lifetime. You might ask why do I need this organizer, I'll just put the parts on the table and use them whenever it's required. But I bet you that you'll definitely lose those parts because of their size. You can see how small they are and it's also a pain in the to clean them up. And the other important need for an organizer is protecting your components from the elements. Here you can see I have two Arduinos. One is somewhat clean and the other one is dusty ass because I left it on the table for a while and it collected dust all around from the space. Keeping them in a proper organizer will protect them from the elements. The best way to organize your resistors according to me is to sort them by their first starting value. So here I have a 10 ohm resistor behind a, which I have a 100 ohm resistor. So I am starting with 1 and 1 kilo ohm, 1.2 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm and 18, 1.8 kilo ohm and 18 kilo ohm both are in same draw so the starting will be 1.8 and it will be multiplied by 10 behind that's how i store them nothing fancy and i left one draw for storing miscellaneous resistors any other resistor values other than the labeled ones will go here and the same is done for capacitors any other miscellaneous capacitors not labeled here will go here because why do I want to store this 4700 microfarad capacitor in a separate drawer and waste space? All kind of miscellaneous capacitors will go into this drawer. You can keep your very important stuff very close to you like I have done here. I have placed hookup wires in this drawer. So while I am prototyping on a breadboard I could easily reach them and use them. If I get any other kind of display other than a 16 into 2 display, 
I will also store them in this same drawer because storing them in an another separate drawer is just waste of space. You need not to get in too much detail while storing them. I am using Microsoft Excel to print the labels. I am setting the width to 25 and the height of the cell to 33. And here is the printout that I did using the sticker paper. Let's cut and stick them up. To cut the paper I am using this knife and this nice wood steel skin. And it's finally done. It took uh, quite a lot of time. The pricing of the product is about 2520 and including the tax of 18 percentage it will be around 2974. So yeah, I think it's around 3000 and it's definitely worth the price. In conclusion, the product is well built and it will be a good purchase if you're an electronic hobbyist 